All right, y'all. Welcome to a brand new episode of Doing With These Podcast. Your boy Doa. Man, I just uh, I just looked at the uh, Kumo D <clears throat> rap report card he did in the '90s. Man, it was a, uh, it was this his uh, you know, he had a different type of uh, categories, uh, stage vocabulary, blah blah blah, a whole bunch of different ones. But to look at it, I'm gonna say you know he had Lauren Hill at the best, had the best grade in '97. Uh, I think Lauren Hill is the best female rapper. It's not even close. I think she's all around is legit a goat when it comes to that. Um, I'm not even had the Andre Three Stacks on there. I'm, I'm kind of tight about that. That's Andre Three Stacks belong on that. Should have been on that list in the '90s. He was out. He was he was out there. But um, he had Jay Z at 82. Uh, uh, if he made this in the '90s, it's before Blueprint, maybe he just. I, this is how I'm kind of gauge what he's doing. He had uh, Reasonable Doubt, Value One. No, yeah, Value One. Maybe uh, Value Two out yet? Value Two is uh, Hard Knock Life is out. Eh. Uh, nah, I don't think Jay Z should be at 82. Nah, nah Jay Z is easy 88 at least. At least. He um, came this school in 90. That was weird. Miss School at 90, Jay-Z 82. Miss School never was... Again, I like Miss School. I just don't think Miss School's ever going to be a, a 90 over... Miss School's a 90. Miss School had grades higher than a lot of uh, other rappers. Biggie, 95. Biggie's To me, Biggie is the best all-around rapper of all time. It's my personal opinion when it comes to everything. Do you do me to give me that list? I think Biggie vocabulary, it's cadence skills records i just think he's the ultimate was the ultimate rap of to me personally uh he gave pun a kind of like a in a b uh vocabulary he didn't give him a 10 pun vocabulary was fucking crazy i don't know what kumo d was thinking about listen to pun records this is his first fucking album um but i think he tried to get him i think he got low originality because he had cool g rap style but whatever um nas got a high grade uh yeah um Buster Rhymes got a high grade, like good grade. Puffy had an 80. So, again, I don't get how Puffy get 80 and Jay-Z 82. Puffy should have got, like, again, I don't, he shouldn't have been up there at all. Um, Mace had an 80. So, this uh, Buckshot, Foxy, a little some, a lot of 80s, some, some 70s. Uh, but, like, to stand out, the highest grades were given to Lauryn Hill and um, Biggie. You know what I'm saying those ones I was like, all right, I can see either, but that Jay Z 82 wasn't right. And I'm not even the biggest Jay Z fan, I'm not gonna act like I'm a Jay Z stand, but Jay Z ain't with no fucking 82. Not even that, even if you don't count the Blueprint album, uh, Jay Z, he's a 90 at least, he's better than all around. He gave him a low stage presence. Jay Z, I, I went to Jay Z concert, he was, he was good at, with that stage presence. He's not animated and jumping on the ramp, but he's he shows he puts a good show on, but um. Uh, if you saw the list, let me know what you think, what your grade was. But um, it was like it was some good and bad uh, on that list. But uh, that's late 90s. Who knows? All right.